Hey there, Justin Fleming here with Chin McCoyd Fleming Harris coming to you at the beginning of November 2023. I uh, really wanted to kind of dive in today and talk about our market here in Park City and how segmented our market is. We certainly understand that you're probably seeing headlines and news stories across the nation about various cities or states and how their real estate market is faring. Uh, so I wanted to kind of give you an update on our overall market and how segmented it is within the various neighborhoods and, and kind of bring some attention to that. Uh, looking at our residential market here, that'd be homes, townhomes, and condominiums, there are currently 985 listings on the MLS available for purchase. Um, I wanted to kind of make some comparisons to September, October of 2023 as compared to September, October of 2019, so four years ago. Um, if you look at the entire MLS, right now there are 20% fewer listings on the MLS than there was four years ago. And on average, 5% fewer listings coming to market every month than there were four years ago. Uh, I thought it was interesting to look at those numbers, but then see that there was about 23% fewer properties closing every month than there was just four years ago. Um, interesting enough is that those properties are actually getting to under contract 35% faster. So our days on market is down by 35%. And what's happening with that is our overall absorption hasn't changed. We're about seven months worth of supply on the overall MLS four years ago, and that's about where we are today. Overall, a fairly balanced market. Um, if you just took a high level at our entire MLS. If you drill down and just said, I want to look at Park City, which would be Snyderville Basin and Park City Limits. I said, okay, what's happening within that particular area? Well, as compared to four years ago, we're down 44% in total listings, and every month there's about 3% fewer listings coming to market. Well, there are fewer closings, about 22% fewer closings. So that really is kind of coinciding with the entire MLS. However, the speed at which properties are going under contract is even faster in the Park City area than it is across the MLS, about 51% faster for your number of days on market as compared to four years ago. And then looking at the overall inventory, our absorption is two months less worth of inventory now than there was four years ago. Uh, basically meaning that if we stopped having new properties come to market, it would take two less months to be able to use up the entire inventory. So if you compared entire MLS, Park City, just, you know, Snyderville Basin of Park City limits, and then you compare that to the to the Heber Valley, also part of our, our entire Park City MLS. Um, they actually have 3% more listings now than they had in 2019. There are still fewer listings coming to market. Yet again, about 22% fewer closings every month, selling at about the same speed that they were four years ago. Um, however, the amount of inventory that's on the market is three months worth of additional inventory in the Heber Valley than there was four years ago. Um, you know, so you take a look across the entire MLS, there is there are very few common themes. Really the common themes is there are fewer listings coming to market and there are fewer overall total closings that are happening. Um, you know, really this resounds the need for having a real estate professional and a real estate team behind you, whether you're looking to buy or you're looking to sell, uh, to really have a team that can dial into that specific neighborhood and that uh, portion of the area to be able to understand where um, you know market values and timing and everything else kind of fits in for your particular property of interest. Um, kind of to give a further explanation about what's happening in our overall market, if you just take a look at Deer Valley, um, there are currently 34 properties on the MLS in all of Deer Valley. Uh, that's residential properties and that's only, um, you know, that's everything. Uh, of those 34 properties, only 25 of them are already built, able to be used this year. Of those 25, only 12 have direct ski access. So in all of Deer Valley, at this point in time, there are 12 for sale properties currently on the MLS that are ski in, ski out, or direct ski access. Um, if you or your family have some particular questions, would like to kind of dial into some specific neighborhoods, please feel free to reach out to myself or anybody on the team. We'd love to get you taken care of. And I look forward to giving you an additional update as we get into next month. You take care.